<laughs> I love this guy, this is hilarious. Men in silks congregating around a small table. I might have to give him some more cheese. We have one nice wine glass. <laughs> Hello. And welcome to my living room. My name's Jonathan and this is Noodle and this is Tools of the Trade, the show where we find out what tools everyday entrepreneurs need to do their work every day. Noodle and I are thrilled because we are gonna be uh, sharing a box curated by superstar skier, base jumper, and high octane athlete, Matthias Giraud. So, he was born in France, which is France, but uh, said in that way. <laughs> and he currently lives in Oregon, but throughout his life, he's always been pursuing um, extreme sports. He does not consider himself an adrenaline junkie. He's always trying to push the envelope with uh, what feats he can accomplish. And along the way, he inspires others by sharing his story through a TED Talk, which is something you guys could check out online. It was amazing. Anytime you can get mm, a TED Talk is pretty legit. But he also does a lot of interviews where he basically teaches people about not necessarily what what it means to take risks, but what it means to do something outside of your comfort zone. To do something that you didn't think you could do before. Like, for example, I didn't think that I could live in an apartment on the fifth floor with a 25 pound pug that I had to carry up and down the stairs every time he had to go potty. I didn't think I could do it, but here we are. Anyway, using uh, Matthias and Noodle as my muse in putting myself outside of my comfort zone, I'm gonna do something that I'm not I'm not usually comfortable doing, and I'm gonna make others do something for me. Um, can you grab my coffee? Thank you. I didn't think I could do it. I did not think I could do that, but here I am, and I'm still in one piece, and I got what I wanted. Thank you, Chris, that was very kind. It's cold. Christopher, I'm kidding, oh my God, I'm kidding, oh my God. Okay, so let's get in this box. I'm excited to see what's inside of it. <laughs> Ooh la la! I have a baguette <laughs> right here, which is a French. And did you know that baguette in French is un baguette? Uh, and bread is un pain, which is spelled like pain. Your little bread here has got a twin sister, and her name is Magnum of Wine. A wine that's called Wine of France, Cuvée de Chevalier. I don't know what that means, but based on this image, I think that translates roughly to men in silks congregating around a small table. Is this cheese? Is this wine, bread, and cheese? Oh yeah, he's like, Bruh. He, you're not getting bread and cheese. You cannot have bread and cheese. He said that this is obviously, this is necessary for climbing uh, the Alps like a good French man. If you are gonna do something like that, you've gotta bring the right meal. And he also says, and I think this is probably cheeky, but also very real. <laughs> he says, if you're doing something like this, it could very well be your last meal. So you want, I know noodle, he, the, the idea of a last meal is so stressful to him because he'll never stop eating. This is a guy who knows how to live his life, right? Someone who base jumps and skis professionally for a living, something tells me that he's used to creating his own rules and living within those confines, just like Noodle. You are, okay, I'm gonna give him a small piece of cheese. That's it. The next item we have, <laughs> I love this guy, this is hilarious. We've got the Wayne's World, one and two. I love the idea, A, it definitely speaks to him having a sense of humor, but I do love the idea that if he were on the Alps and he had a DVD player and he had one movie left to watch, he couldn't decide between one or two, so he'd watch them both. Um, I have to make a confession though, I will make a confession. I have never seen Wayne's World. I have never, Noodle's like, I was 80 years old when Wayne's World came out. I think I missed out on it. Um, what do they do? Uh, they party on. Cool. Okay, the next item we've got is this is an essay by a French philosopher named Albert Camus um, that is called The Rebel and the Modern World and is, uh, is essentially one of the most uh, influential and pro prolific essays written in the post-world world, 1956. And it is all about um, rebellion and progress. 
Obviously it speaks to his mindset and his taste and the way that he likes to conduct himself in the world and the way that he sees other people and interacts with them. You are so sweet with your little paw. I also love this because it says right here, rebellion in progress. And this is the man who's bringing a bottle of wine and a thing of bread and the Wayne's World DVD to the top of the Alps. And anytime you can expose yourself to, you know, established influential ways of thought, it's always interesting to read stuff like this. Apparently there's a quote, this guy's quote, which you're gonna say right now. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your existence is an act of rebellion. The quote in this is the opening line of Wayne's World. So it sounds like there's a real theme here and it, that, I mean, that quote makes perfect sense, right? This guy is saying like, I'm gonna be the most free and un uninhibited person that I can be as an act of rebellion to the confines of society. I say that as a salaried employee who is in fact confined by society <laughs> and by him. Okay, so the last item and then oh, we gotta, we really do have to crack this bottle. Yeah, you wanna crack this? You wanna crack, what time is it? It's what time we can drink, it's two, Two, three, four, it's, it's eight o'clock, yes. Exactly, and France they start drinking at noon and it is actually, uh, it's actually 8 p.m. And then the last item while we're waiting for our wine, the last item is what looks like a sun sort of inside of a volcano. Um, oh, it's a, oh, it's a record, oh, it's a record. The record's called Magma by an artist called Gojira Music. This is a very well-known, environmentally progressive French death metal band that he listens to to get his head in the game because if you're gonna climb some badass mountains or go fast down a badass mountain, you need to be in the right mindset and listen to some existential death metal by environmentally conscious French people. I think I'm gonna be turning 30 next month and I'm very eager to introduce existential French death metal into my routine to see if that maybe helps me with some of my own existential dread. I do this thing where I feel like I'll be quiet and I'll just hear this little whining noise every now and then and I won't know what it is. Oh, that's right, it's you. That was my joke about how Noodle and my subconscious have become one. There's one more thing? Okay, there's another thing to go, ha ha. It's a shiv. This is like a hiking pick. This is like a full ice pick. For some reason, I didn't think you could buy these. I've, obviously you can, of course you can. Sorry, I, I grew up next to a dick sporting goods too. But I just, I guess I just always thought these were like something that you only buy in like base camps. You know, I guess I never thought that you could just kind of like go on Amazon and be like, I need a Corsica ice pick. Oh, in green. It's awesome. So if you're someone who wants to go, you know, I don't know if you're looking to go base jumping or anything, but if you're uh, if you're into climbing, right? I know this is, you know, we're, we're far away from our, our rock ventures in Brooklyn, but if you want to go like pick your way through a mountain, you've got, this is the, the correct, sorry, I'm totally baffled by this. Cause it's like, you can tell when I've seen tools, like things that I'm familiar with and then things that I'm totally not familiar with. Noodle, this is, this is way beyond you. Um, so this is arguably the most tooliest tool that he's put in this box. And that's the first and last time I'll say that, but it's true. You are so sweet and you are not getting any more cheese. This is my no cheese face. Um, I might have to give him some more cheese. But anyway, so this was the box. I could go on forever because I'm so excited by this stuff. I've never heard of a lot of these. Like I've never heard of these musicians. And I think, I think I'm kind of a dumb because I've never heard of this philosopher. And both of these guys in the room with me was like, oh yeah, you mean him? The quote to Wayne's World, him, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. Matias is a wonderful guy. He's a super, super, super interesting person. We're so grateful that he took the time to curate this box for us. Whether you are someone who started a business in your garage or or on top of a mountain. Uh, it's really cool to see all the different ways that these different entrepreneurs uh, have gone about coming to their success. If you like this video and you wanna see others like it, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so you can get notifications anytime a new video, whether it's Tools of the Trade or School of Hustle or one of our other series goes live, uh, you'll get a notification letting you know so you can watch it right away. For my ice pick and me, thank you for, for watching and I'll see you next week. Week.